Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday, the third day of February. Holy cow. How'd that happen? It's February. It's National Carrot Cake Day. That's pretty good stuff. Are there oh, really carrots carrot in carrot cake? cake? There's like actual I've carrots? I've never in made a carrot cake, oh, but know. I believe that there are carrots. National in Day, the music died. It's a very sad thing. It's also National Football Hangover Day because, you know, no more football for a little while now after the game yesterday. National Missing Persons Day and National Women Physicians Day. All of those things happening on this Monday. And it's a movie star Monday. Uh, my guest today, uh, you'll recognize him for sure when you see him. If you if you go on and look, Scott Takeda is his name. He's been in a ton of movies and TV programs uh, like Gone Girl, uh, Dallas Buyers Club, Whiskey Tango, Foxtrot, Everything Must Go, that Will Ferrell was in, a whole bunch of stuff. And he's got a lot of projects he's working on now. Super excited to visit with Scott Takeda coming up for this Movie Star Monday. Student loan debt is out of control for many people. Are you one of them? The average graduate walks away with anywhere from 25000 to 40000 in student loans. Believe it or not, 2% even manage to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have several different student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at singlestudentloan.com. If you have only one student loan, we may be able to offer you a better rate to help you get that loan paid off sooner at singlestudentloan.com. That's singlestudentloan.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A new survey found that one-third of commuters are stressed out before they even get to work. Only a third? <laughs> you know what the other two-thirds, why they're not stressed out? Why? Because they listen to us. So yeah. They listen to, uh, to this station, so they're not, they're not stressed. They're just ready to go to work or, I don't know, something like that. I've got a link to that survey if you want to know all about it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. A Florida woman was arrested for misusing the 911 system by calling and then texting to make non-criminal complaints about her husband. Police, texting? You can text 911? Yeah, well, in some places, apparently. Yeah. Huh. Police said 69-year-old Sylvia Schumacher, or Schumacher uh, used 911 multiple times to text and phone to ask for things like a counselor and how to file for a divorce. I think we talked about we, this We lady. did. It was our fake news or Florida like a week ago, I think. Oh. Uh, police responded to the residence at 1.50 a.m., middle of the night. Schumacher nice. was highly intoxicated while being questioned. She was arrested and charged with misuse of the 911 system. So... There you go. Don't drink and dial. <laughs> dial. Don't drink and... Don't drink and dial? Don't drink and dial. There we go. Uh, and don't call 911 unless it's an actual emergency. That's just a terrible idea. Yeah, but you that, don't want to go to jail. Yeah, that is what happens, though, when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Dog the Bounty Hunter proposed to his girlfriend, Moon Angel, on the la- uh, last episode of the Dr. Oz show. So, oh. Yeah, so that's cool. He hasn't been a no, he was widow a- for very long, yeah, has he? That's, that's awfully like, quick. I think within the last around. year, but you know, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Uh, on, there's people online that are being really hard on him about that too. Uh, yeah, it's awfully fast. Yeah. Well, here's the good news. Uh, it does not affect no. me at all, so it can be whatever. Sean Weiss, child actor who starred in the film The Mighty Ducks. We were just talking about The Mighty Ducks. Yes, we were. We were talking with a coworker about uh, the movie. What is the movie called? The Cutting Edge. Cutting Edge. That he had not seen, and then he was asking us about movies, and we're like, we've seen The Mighty Ducks. <laughs> we're talking about different ice skating movies and hockey movies. Anyway, Sean Weiss, a child actor from The Mighty Ducks, was arrested in California after breaking into a home while high on meth. Well, that's oh, no good. Oh, no. Oh, that story took a bad turn. I was just laughing it up, having fun. I find out, oh, this is not a laughing moment. Well, that's too bad. Sad to hear that. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. 
It's a new year. Have you made a resolution to quit drinking or to finally get away from drugs for good? These are both habits that are hard to kick, but you can do it. We want to help you. Timeforrehab.com is here to help you find the help you need with your particular situation. If you want to make this year the year you get the help you need to live a normal life again, start with a little help from us at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now your scoop of the day brought to you by FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Apple posted its highest fourth quarter earnings ever thanks to hotter than expected phone and tablet sales. So Apple at one point, kids, I don't know, gather around the radio here for a second. I don't know if you know this. They used to sell computers. <laughs> and they still do sell some computers. But nowadays, it's all about the phone yeah, It's for all them. about phones. And do you remember when the iPhone came out? Like it revolutionized Not the way really. we do I mean, everything. I really just... I'm not a Apple fan, period. But it doesn't matter. I'm saying that is what introduced us to all of the others. The ones that we have in our pockets, yeah. they're not Apple. But because of Apple, that's why we have them. So it, it was a big deal. So I'm glad to hear things are going well. Uh, I think we talked about this, but I'm going to throw this in there. Waffle House is now taking Valentine's Day reservations. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Yeah, we talked. <laughs> I just we, did talk, we talked about that. Yeah, They'll I give don't. you a, like a tablecloth and yeah. candles. And- um, a New York man was arrested and charged with DUI, driving under the influence. After driving his SUV up a ski slope, he pled not guilty. How in the world do you do that? I, he must have, have one really tough. good tire. They should make a commercial out of whatever that was because <laughs> I've gotten stuck. Maybe it was just a bunny hill. Uh, it must have been. A Tennessee man smoked a joint in court during a drug possession trial. Guess what? He was rearrested. Oh, of course. That's what a, an idiot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Prince Andrew is denying FBI's claims that he is not cooperating with their probe into Jeffrey Epstein's death. Uh, they're saying that you know he has info that they're not that he's not uh, letting them have, and he said that's no. I've been I've been really busy helping Megan and uh, Harry move. <laughs> I mean, I had to carry all the heavy stuff. Well, I don't think he did anything there. Um, Irish vegetarian frozen food company. Oh, hang on a second. There was a lot going <sighs> on there. Let's see one step at a time. An Irish vegetarian frozen food company. Okay, is selling a meat patch that you wear on your arm to curb your meat cravings it's, it's, wow i've never heard of such thing but i'll, I'll tell you the rest <laughs> the patch is supposedly going to emit the smell of bacon to curb your desire for bacon because the, here's here's when the i thing. smell bacon when i smell bacon the first thing i want to do I is eat bacon. bacon so i don't know who thought this idea up they're like oh you know what we're gonna do we're gonna make you smell bacon all day you won't even want to eat the stuff I'm like no Everybody, i will when want they to smell eat bacon they want bacon i've seen people convert from vegetarianism because of bacon <laughs> So I think it's maybe is a bad idea. Who I wants do, to walk around smelling like bacon all the time? I would. If you had a pocket full of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that guy? I don't know. He's, so stupid. His name is. His nickname is Mr. Bacon. <laughs> uh, and one quick story here before we wrap things up: a video of a stolen van flipping over as a driver attempted to run from cops has gone viral. The female driver was okay, and so was her dog, who happened to be in the vehicle. You're never going to guess where this happened. Where? Florida. <laughs> Imagine ah. that. Police found three stolen prescription drugs and a package of heroin in the vehicle as well. So, you know, anywhere else, this would be like, wow, that is crazy that that happened. And, uh, you know, whether it be in a Florida story, you're like, yeah, it's, it's like another That's Tuesday, Florida. apparently. <laughs> Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Student loan debt is out of control for many people. Are you one of them? The average graduate walks away with anywhere from 25000 to 40000 in student loans. Believe it or not, 2% even manage to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have several different student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at singlestudentloan.com. If you have only one student loan, we may be able to offer you a better rate to help you get that loan paid off sooner at singlestudentloan.com. That's singlestudentloan.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show on a movie star Monday. Super excited to visit with Scott Takeda. He is our guest today. He's been in a bunch of movies like Gone Girl, Dallas Buyers Club, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, Everything Must Go. Scott's also been on several television programs uh, like The First and The Man in the High Castle. And Scott, welcome to the program. Now, you've had a chance to be on some really interesting programs, some sci-fi things. When it's more of a sci-fi program, is it hard to kind of get into character for that? 
I think it's pretty straightforward to do. Um, I think that the folks that have to do the heavy lifting are the writers. They're the ones that have to translate Philip Dick's novel into TV shows. Also, the art directors have to kind of create uh, a Nazi version of the United States on the East Coast, as well as a, a Pacific Japanese version of the United States on the Pacific Coast. So. I think those are the ones that have a little bit more of the heavier lifting. And I'm looking at some of the other projects that you've had a chance to be a part of. Gone Girl, which was a huge film with Ben Affleck, and also Dallas Buyers Club, which was another huge film, and that was, uh, of course, Matthew McConaughey. Uh, as you look back at the history of all the great programs and the movies and television programs that, that you've had a chance to be a part of, are there some that kind of stand out as, boy, I wish it everything was like this one? Uh, I, there's, a, there's a couple of ones. You know, I was part of Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot, out of Paramount Pictures. It's a real-life biography film about a um, journalist who was covering Afghanistan. That, that was played by Tina Fey. It was really a quite terrific film. And it was wonderful on set, and it was wonderful, you know, in the showing. I think the only uh, problem with it is that uh, we came out uh, at the same time as Zootopia, and we kind of got crushed a little bit by that. But other than that, it was a really terrific experience. Um, also, just recently um, was in The Tale with uh, Laura Dern. That was also uh, a real, a film that really, I think, uh, captured the uh, Me Too movement. And so it was nice being part of a project that kind of captured a, a movement that everyone is talking about. Absolutely. And one of the other things I see on the list here is a, it's maybe a guilty pleasure of mine, uh, the television program Drunk History, we absolutely love watching that because it makes history interesting and exciting. And you got to be on the episode for something to do with World War II. Is that right? Yeah, um, I love drunk history on Comedy Central. It, as, as you said, it, it, um, it, it you learn a lot watching it, and it's also incredibly funny at the same time. So um, yeah, I just had a chance to, to guest star on that show, and uh, I think it's just as much fun to to play characters on that show as it is to watch it. We, we had no idea at the time when we shot it how relevant the story would be because we were, we were doing a story on the Japanese internment camps about how U.S. US citizens, the Japanese, uh, had their constitutional rights taken away from them and herded into these uh, camps. And then right when it came out is when we had all the, uh, the, the children being detained at the border and, and put into essentially the same types of things, internment camps. So uh, sadly, history is repeating itself. The timing was just kind of uh, coincidental, but it, it was fascinating that it came out at that same time. Yeah. And I don't think it was by anyone's planning at all. It, it, it It's just kind of a nature of history that sadly history does tend to repeat itself. Now, I'm, I'm again looking through and seeing uh, some of the things in addition to being a movie star on the screen. You do a lot of stuff behind the scenes as well as producer and, and some other things. Do you prefer to be behind the scenes or in front of the camera, or is it kind of both about the same for you? I, I, I think it's more the latter. Uh, I'm a visual storyteller by training, so I, I like telling stories. I think stories are one of the things that unite and our entire population and, and it lets us know that we're all human. And I specifically like being able to tell stories with visuals or pictures. Um, so it doesn't matter if I'm in front of the camera uh, portraying a, a, a character, if you will, or if I'm behind the camera pulling all the knobs and whistles and stuff like that uh, to be able to tell the story. Um, I enjoy all that. Well, we're going to certainly keep our eyes peeled for you in the projects that you have coming out. Again, the first, which is out now, and then The Man in the High Castle, and you have Mr. Mercedes, a TV series. That's coming soon as well, is that right? Exactly, yeah. The, based off of a Stephen King novel, and uh, I've got my episode coming. It's actually the season finale. Very nice. We'll keep our eyes peeled for it. Scott, thank you again, sir. Appreciate uh, you having me on this show. Absolutely. Again, another Movie Star Monday. I'm going to throw a link to all of this information in the show notes so you can find the projects we're talking about, even some links to his social media, all of that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you have a lucky shirt? FunkyMonkeyShirts.com has several lucky shirts to wear next month for St. Patrick's Day. Or if it's a really lucky shirt, you can wear it every day. Green shirts, four-leaf clovers, Irish sayings, and more. Don't wait. If you order your lucky shirt right now, it can be here in time to wear for St. Patrick's Day. Find t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Showers really do spark creativity. It says showers are not just good for cleaning your, you know, body, but they also help <laughs> clean. Well, they do. It's supposed to. I don't know if you heard that, but they're also good for creativity too. 2012 study published in the Journal of Psychological Science. Researchers gave volunteers creativity problems to solve, followed by a, a period of rest. During the period, some were assigned to demanding tasks, others simpler tasks that allowed their mind to wander, like a shower does. Those doing the simpler tasks, like the shower, during the resting time were more likely to solve the original creativity problem. Okay. So they're saying next time you have, hey, we got to come up with an idea. Let's brainstorm. Go take Just a do a shower. <laughs> it's going to be really awkward if you're doing this with like a whole group of people at work. Like, oh, everybody. Group shower. Come everybody on. Everybody in here. Group shower. Come on. No, don't do the group shower. That's probably a bad idea. That I think would stifle some. <laughs> yeah, well, like, you might get some different creativity. It's like, well, <laughs> this boardroom meeting has gotten really weird. <laughs> Thanks for listening to today's fun fact. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, some news headlines from somewhere in this world. Dateline, Indonesia. Oh. They've installed their first ever female flogging squad to publicly whip people who violate the country's morality code. What in the world is going on there? I I, I don't... I'm going to take this one step at a time. So it's the first ever female flogging squad. Does that mean they've already had male flogging squads? I don't know. And what is the country's morality code? You know, because if they're out flogging people, there are some people who are going to probably buy tickets just because of that. I'm like, I want to go check this out. I have no idea. I've got a link to the story. It's a weird one. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. And this has been News Headlines from Somewhere in This World. It's a new year. Have you made a resolution to quit drinking or to finally get away from drugs for good? These are both habits that are hard to kick, but you can do it. We want to help you. Timeforrehab.com is here to help you find the help you need with your particular situation. If you want to make this year the year you get the help you need to live a normal life again, start with a little help from us at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. And this is so bizarre. A Florida man dressed as an Easter bunny okay. has been arrested for fleeing the scene of a hit-and-run motorcycle crash. <laughs> he was uh, This guy was riding a motorcycle. Well, Anton Tycree McDonald, January 16th, he was trying to evade authorities in the aftermath of a motorcycle crash. The incident began when McDonald allegedly crashed a motorcycle into a carport, damaging the vehicle underneath before fleeing the scene. It is believed that he ignored a stop sign before hitting a chain-link fence and flipping the motorcycle. (laughs) Witnesses say that they saw him hobbling away from the accident site. Police were investigating the incident. They uh, said they discovered he was laying in the back seat of a vehicle, so he was like hiding from them, attempting to avoid suspicion by dressing in an Easter Bunny costume. Oh, so he wasn't in an Easter no. Bunny costume when he crashed. No. Now I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, me too. The costume <laughs> I was liked removed. To have seen that. He was placed under arrest <laughs> before taken to jail. <laughs> before taken to a hospital, rather, for uh, injuries. That is a bad idea. But what in the world? That is definitely fits the bill for today's Weird News. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh, brought to you by singlestudentloan.com. A deranged Connecticut man was caught on video this week randomly knocking over cosmetic displays and destroying merchandise at a Bloomingdale's in Norwalk, Connecticut. The video shows the man pushing several shelves and glass tables and throwing cosmetic products around caused about $100,000 in damage, Heidi. Hmm. Residents identified the man as 42-year-old Jason Gilberti, He was accused of punching a security guard during the violent rampage. It all took place at the Sono Collection Mall. Another guard also tried pepper spray on the man. That wasn't enough to stop him, though. Minutes later, they arrested him after a brief struggle. He was charged with assault and interfering with an officer and breach of peace and criminal mischief, and the list just keeps going. He was, uh, anyway, arrested for 
just flipping out for no particular reason. They don't know why he did this. Nobody knows. Huh. And he doesn't really have an answer. That's why it says a deranged Connecticut man. Weird well, story. Well, that's too bad. That is. It is also today's Moment of Duh. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, fake news or Florida? Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida or is it made up fake news just to trick you and amuse me? All right. All right, here we go. A Florida man was arrested after asking deputies to test the quality of the meth that he had bought off a local drug dealer. Fake news or Florida? Florida. It is a true story. We talked about that. We did that. talk about it. Yeah. But that seems to happen. Well,. The funny we've thing ha- is, I, I mean, I know we've talked about more than one story like yeah. that where they've said, "Where they've said, hey, will you check this? I think well, I got ripped off." And and I like there was like a press release that was sent out by a police department that says, "Hey, there are, there yeah. are drug dealers yeah. selling <laughs> we want us to bad check it. drugs. If you want us to check yours, you can just come in. We'll check right. and make sure you didn't get ripped off." And, and people were like, "Can you check this?" And yeah. Like, yeah, here, come in this room for me. I'm like, are you kidding me, people? Yeah. Well, if they're using that stuff to begin yeah, with, they're already yeah, not, not making good not decisions. Not the brightest. So. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of The John and Heidi Show is brought to you by The John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying The John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. And I think this is such a cool story. Here's the headline. In 2019, last year, more Americans went to the library than to the movies. I would have never guessed that. Yeah, according to a poll, visiting the library remains the most common cultural activity Americans engage in, and it's by quite a bit. I can't tell you the last time I I was in a library. We need to go. We need to get out of this place. What are we doing in here? Exactly. Can we leave now? Oh, we got to finish this story? Okay. The average 10.5 trips to the U.S. library per adult uh, from 2019 in eight other common leisure activities uh, this came out on top americans attend live music or theater and visit national or historic parks four times a year uh, visit casinos 2.5 times a year trips to amusement parks or theme parks 1.5 times zoos 0.9 percent so when you look at this list of things oh hey i got <laughs> if i scroll down it's a lot easier to see and uh, visiting a zoo is on the bottom. Going to a library was number one, 10.5 trips. And then movie was the next thing on the list, and it was 5.3. Huh. So almost twice as much people are going to the I library. Used to go than to the going library to a lot when the kids were little. We need to do that. get new books every single week. And, and there's a lot more than just books at libraries, by the way. So for those of you who are thinking, oh, I don't do no reading. I don't need to go to no library. They've well, you know what? They've got movies there. You can they got, they got a lot of stuff. You can go there for many, many, many things. Yeah. And if nothing else, just go in and see them today and say, hey, I'm here because I heard about this on the radio. And John and Heidi say hi. Do I get a free gift? <laughs> Do I get a free gift? Huh? Anything? A they'll, free membership. They'll probably give you a free membership and they'll probably <laughs> let you check out as many books as you want over the course of time. So uh, I've got a link to that story, by the way. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.